Creative workshops can be noisy or quiet if thoughts are deep or ideas are in short supply. They're known for being useful at the beginning of a project when you want to generate and harvest new ideas, but they're also really handy later when there is a growing awareness among your stakeholders that things aren't working and your solutions, if not failing as such, are not delivering the desired outcomes. Bringing people together to focus on thinking differently about a specific problem can bring about new breakthroughs, or at least a shared understanding of the problems. But a good creative workshop provides a dynamic mix. But getting that mix right is down to you as the facilitator. At one extreme, you can be... or... As the facilitator, you want to create a supportive framework with a structure and order, and that means preparation. You'll need to start by finding a good venue with the right facilities in an accessible location for everyone attending. When selecting the stakeholders and participants, make sure there's a good, workable balance of people. Identify primary and secondary stakeholders. Primary stakeholders are those directly affected by the focus of the creative workshop. Secondary stakeholders are indirectly affected, but have experience of the issue under the spotlight. Most importantly, make sure you have a clear purpose so you can satisfy your objectives and persuade people to attend. It's crucial you mix in a tolerance of the unexpected when it comes to generating ideas. Encourage people to be playful, making sure your workshop has many moments where anything goes. Find ways to capture the best ideas whilst keeping them flowing. If people get stuck, help them to move on by exploring the problem from different angles. In a creative workshop, there are no bad ideas, even the ones that sound impossible. Encourage everyone to enjoy the process and bring the quiet thinkers forward. Record the outputs by making sure the collaborators capture ideas as they go and get them to summarise their action plans at the end. People are more likely to engage with ideas emerging from a creative workshop because they formed them. Resistance will be lower because there'll be no surprises. Also, creative workshops can improve your credibility and that of your organisation. When they demonstrate that you value input from stakeholders, you listen and that you are fair, ethical and transparent. Above all, have fun. Hello, my name is Richmond. And when it comes to creative workshop, one single most important thing to do is to ensure that your objectives are very clearly stated and in very simple terms. Then you need to ensure that it's very interactive. And I say this because of what I experienced from a very recent um, workshop that I attended, which was on research impact. And had it not been for the fact that the, the facilitator was very straightforward about the objective, it wouldn't have been very successful. Thank you and all the best.